Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Poser along with Flash to create some simple, lightweight character animation. Okay, so here we are in the Poser interface, and it starts up with this uh, default character. The first thing we want to do is to change the camera angle. So I'm going to right-click up here, and I'm going to choose From Left to get that left camera. So now we're seeing him from the side. So now we want to apply uh, a running animation to him and Poser comes with something called a walk designer which has all kinds of pre-built uh, animations in it. So if we go to this sidebar and choose poses and it will drop me into the last directory that I was in. So I'm going to go up directory, up a directory until I get to that top level uh, pose directory which is right here. And Then you'll see all the way at the bottom something called walk designer. And in here there's all these different types of walks and runs that you can apply to your character. So I'm just going to choose a regular run. So I double click it. And now go back to my character. I can see he's already started in that running pose. And there's an animation already on him. So if I go down to the play button, hit play, and now I'm seeing that running animation. And it's looping. So this is exactly what I want to export into Flash. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to stop it. Right above these these controls, you see these all these different uh, types of ways to view the character. I just want to turn it into a silhouette. Basically, it's just all one color. I want to change the color of this, and I can make it any color I want. Get that color picker, and I'm just going to choose pure white. Okay, so now I have my character in silhouette, and he has an animation applied to him. Now we can export it for Flash. So go to the animation menu, choose make movie. Okay, from this dialog box, we have uh, options of how we want to export it. We're going to choose Macromedia Flash from the pull down, and we're going to keep the resolution and the quality just at the default settings. Now go to this Flash Settings button, click on it. Now we can uh, set up our settings for Flash. Now the number of colors is obviously the number of colors it will export with. Since it's a silhouette, we're just going to choose one. And the rest of these I'm just going to leave at the default. Now here we can um, draw an outline around our character, which I'm going to keep because I want uh, basically a stroke around the character. And we can actually choose a stroke width here as well. Okay, so I have that set up. And I could also change the frame rate and also which frames I want to export. But I'm just going to leave it as the default. So I'm just going to save this to the desktop and call it Run. And here it is. I can see it's now rendering every frame of the animation. And it's fairly fast. Okay, so now that's done. So now I have my character from the left and with a running loop. Now we can go into Flash and check it out. Okay, here we are in Flash. I just created a new document. And I'm going to want to create a movie clip that's going to hold my running man. So I'm going to insert new symbol choose movie clip and I'm just gonna call it run click OK okay now I'm in the edit mode for my run movie clip I'm just gonna hit control R to import to the stage and I'm just gonna highlight that run dot swift click open so now it's imported the animation and it's brought it in just as a sequence of keyframes as you can see, I have my stroke around the outside of it. And if I hit enter, you see now that's one cycle. But of course, this is going to be looping when I, I create it for my final movie. So I'm going to go back to the root timeline. And I'm going to drag a copy of that run movie clip out. But I want to shrink it a little bit. So I'm going to right click on it, go to free transform, hold down the shift key while I drag. And now I've shrunk him down. Okay, so I want to actually copy this. I'm going to hit Control C and then create a new layer and drag it under the layer I was just working on and then hit Control V. So I'm pasting a copy of it below it and this is going to be our shadow. And Since I'm in free transform I'm just going to skew it over to the side like that, shrink it down to about that and keep skewing it squashing it and skewing it until it starts to look like a shadow. I'm going to place it in here. But I want to change the color of this because obviously a shadow is just uh, one shade of gray. So I'm going to go to tint and I'm going to lighten that up. Something about that. 
Okay, so now I have this kind of shadow and it's going to move perfectly in sync because it's the same movie clip. So I'm just going to fix this up a little bit. It's not perfect, but um, you'll get the effect of, uh, of him running with a shadow behind him. So now if we go out and test the movie. Okay, so you can see uh, we have our animation from Poser that's brought in as a Swift file. And just by duplicating the movie clip, uh, I have his shadow, which is perfectly in sync. And this whole animation is less than 10K, so it's very lightweight, and it's just a great way to do any kind of character animation.